Hey Raptors, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Today, it's an exciting time. We've got a new graphics card that's hitting the market. Actually, we've got a couple hitting the market. We're going to talk about a few of them, but the focus today is on the new AMD RX 5600 XT. Let's jump right in. We're going to take a look at the pricing. We're going to take a look at some reviews. Very importantly, we're going to take a look at the hash rate and see how it compares to some of the other cards that are already out there and some that are just releasing now. But let's dive right in. Here we go. All right, Raptors, it's always fun when new cards hit the market, especially if you're an AMD Team Red guy or gal and you're a miner because we are taking a look at some of the hash rates that we're seeing hit the web early on. But before we get there, let's take a look at the pricing. So AMD announced the new RX 5600 XT at CES. And now we've seen some of the reviews as this product has begun shipping, or at least a few models have. And some of the models have gotten out there into reviewers hands. And the pricing starts at about $279.99 for the lowest end. Upwards of $309.99. Actually, there's another one down here at $339.99. And you can see just, I think it's some of the options, the differences, the number of fans that you get, what kind of heat sink it has coming with it. Maybe which manufacturer you're most comfortable with. This MSI looks really sharp right here. Really like the look of this guy. And I've seen several reviewers that got in this Sapphire Radeon RX 5600 XT. So we've got a great entry point from a price perspective into the GPU mining market. And as always, you know, AMD is coming hard at the Ethereum hash rate. So we'll take a look at that too here in just a moment. And just to compare that with current pricing, if I look out on Newegg for the 5700 XT, which is a monster hasher on Ethereum, starts like around $360.99 on this lower end ASRock and it goes all the way up to I think about $430, yeah here we go, $439 up here for these power color red devils. All right, so let's get right to it. What is the hash rate? Well, we don't have any solid confirmation. There is, it, this almost feels like a leak. It came out the same day that the reviews from Jay's Two Cents and others like him got out. So it feels like this is a, a producer maybe or something like that who's getting this hash rate out, the guy behind the scenes that, that got maybe one of these review units in. He's listed as Dizzy Mining on YouTube with 94 subscribers here. And I will leave a link to this in the show notes below. But on here when he's doing his overclocking of the 5600 XT, there is no really behind the scenes look. We don't know who he is, what his reliability is. He's only got a couple videos out there. We don't see any power at the wall, but it certainly looks like he knows what he's doing. Again, I'm just guessing that this is somebody in a factory somewhere or somebody that got their hands on a review unit who knew somebody and just said, hey, I'm gonna throw some, some hash rates out there. And I think the best case that he got was, we'll take a quick look. So here's one as he was about halfway through optimizing. It looks like he was at 34.46 mega hash at somewhere around 101 watts. And then towards the end, it looks like this was maybe the best case that he ran into, which was 42.49 mega hash on Ethereum. And his power was about 94 to 95 watts, which is really, really strong, guys. That's a really impressive hash rate. Now, Again, that's just on Ethereum. I know that Serpent X Special Forces has got a card on the way being shipped to him that he's gonna get some testing out on. I'm real interested to see folks do some testing to kind of validate these results. But this, it looks legit, but I would, <laughs> I definitely wanna see him validated because those are really, really strong results. And uh, it'd be great just to see some people get some different models, see, put their expertise into it and see what kind of results they get out of these cards. Yeah, guys, this is definitely a really solid hash rate. I'm very interested to see some other folks who I know and trust can, can show some of the testing that they've done, what the power looks like at the wall, and just kind of validate these results. But yeah, 42 mega hash at about 94 to 95 watts. That's really, really impressive on Ethereum, guys. Now, if we jump over here, I'm going to leave a link to this in the show notes as well. I mentioned that Jay's Two Cents did a review, and he points out a lot of really good things that you want to make note of here with all the latest models that are being released. 
There's a couple things he pointed out on this, and you'd want to watch the video if you're considering buying today. But there's some questions around maybe the hardware, the quality, maybe there's a little bit too much plastic on this unit. The biggest concern I have is the BIOS update that took place right at the last moment as this card started to ship. Uh, all the reviewers had to redo their reviews, and it would appear, I don't know this, but it would appear, based on everything I've heard and read, that AMD released this BIOS mod to better compete with this 2060 KO, the Knockout Edition, which Red Panda did a review on here recently. And it makes a lot of sense because NVIDIA released this kind of out of the blue really quickly. There's only one model with, it seems that they partnered with EVGA to get this out. But if that's true, if this card really isn't designed for the BIOS that it ends up shipping with, if they did this to really push this card hard to compete at this price point, we're going to definitely want to see some reviews, some of the heat. We want to see how much this thing builds up when it's, when it's mining and uh, make sure that this thing is robust and can, can stay for the, the long term, especially if we're going to buy six, eight, ten of these and put them in a rig somewhere. So I'm real curious to see what we see out of this guy in the future and just the, the longevity and, and that'll affect the resale value guys. Uh, it's really, really important stuff. So I'm, I'm really curious to hear more about this BIOS mod and if it's uh, something that makes sense for us as miners. And that being said, I'll leave a link to this in the show notes. Red Panda did a review of the 2060 KO, which is, which I believe stands for knockout. It's a throwback to another name that they used a long time ago in their lineup. But basically it's a stripped down 2060 that you can get for about 299. But at the end of the day, it looked like his findings um, resulted in, it, it, this isn't the card. This isn't the card where you wanna build rigs out of. It, it's super interesting. I hope that there's some exceptions that are brought up in different algos, but uh, the hash rate for the price, it just didn't seem like it made a lot of sense. Now, let me kind of pull this together for you real quick here before we wrap up. I put together this spreadsheet and it outlines kind of the latest cards that a lot of folks are talking about. The 5600 XT, the 2060 KO, 5700 XT, the 1660 Ti, and the 1660 Super. And the hash rate that we saw on that 5600 XT was at 42 mega hash, 94 watts. And where I really like to level set with these cards is down here on their efficiency, the mega hash per second per watt, and then their price. And you can see from what we know so far, th these numbers can change as we get more data, that the 5600 XT is, is right there. I mean, it is very, very impressive. Uh, I really like, you know, what, what this is producing here. Now, again, we've got questions about that BIOS, about the longevity, if, if the card's being driven too hard, I, I don't know that stuff. Uh, but the price point, it, it really is a nice entry into this price point. I also wanna see, we're just talking about F here. So I really wanna see what it can do on other algorithms. That'll be really interesting here over the next couple of weeks. And just to do a quick comparison, I'm gonna do a deeper dive on this in a video in the future, guys. But the 2060 KO, if you look at the price point and the hash rate uh, at 0 0.264, it's not really, uh, terribly, terribly strong there. I would love to see if that this could get um, could get down a little bit more efficient. But if that's where this is going to end up, I, I can't I can't really recommend that 2060 KO. And the 5700 XT, when it comes to F, is really just a beast and has an amazing, amazing hash rate, amazing efficiency. And then the last two are really my favorite cards right here. And I know that there's a lot of folks that are Team Red and they want to stay Team Red all day. Team Green, NVIDIA, and it's almost like a religious war. Hey, I love all GPUs. Just give me some data and tell me which is the best one. Show it to me and, and I'll build a rig out of it, okay? At the moment, I've got one of my favorite rigs is my 13X 1660 Ti. And I've got that hashing away at 30.6 mega hash per card. And I'm at 70 watts per card. And that gets me an efficiency of 0 0.44. And the same thing on the 1660 Super which if you said I need you to order today and I didn't have more data on some of these other cards and what's going to happen this is probably the card I'd build a rig with guys you know this isn't I want to be real careful do your own research this is what I would do this is my opinion if, if my best friend asked me what to build and he said he wasn't going to do any research 
this is probably what I'd recommend to him. But uh, at this price point, with this efficiency, and knowing the resale value that NVIDIA has had, I've always gotten at least 50% of the value back out of my cards. And I haven't heard the same from folks on the AMD side of the house. Plus the additional coins that you can mine. You just, you typically get a lot more options when it comes to the NVIDIA side of the lineup. Now that being said, I, I don't want to say that anyone's wrong. By all means, uh, mining is a fun endeavor and everyone, the, the mining community cannot be underestimated when it comes to creativity and efficiency and building things out. And maybe your whole goal is a putting your money on Ethereum. And if so, um, and you've come up with a really efficient build, then, then these AMD cards are the ones for you. And I'm certainly not going to knock anyone for that. If anything, I'm jealous. I wish, uh, I wish I had some of these rigs so I could speak to them a little bit better. We'll wrap up there. And like I said, I do have a deep dive video. One of our most popular videos of last year was our best GPUs for mining in 2019. Well, guess what? We've got part two coming for 2020. We're really excited to get that out, but that's a deep dive. It's taking us a lot of time to put that together. So keep an eye out for that in the next couple of weeks. We'll get that out to you. Until then, hit that like button and that subscribe button. We'll see you soon, Raptors. Take care. Bye-bye.